Hi, this is Greg for Lightwave Digital, and today we're going to be going over the installation of the Lightwave bridge for Unreal Engine. The last bridge Lightwave had was for Unreal Engine 4.26, so there's actually a gap from Unreal Engine 4.27 to Unreal Engine 5.2. But as of 5.3, Lightwave is back up to speed, and that's the current bridge that we're going to be talking about today. So I'm assuming that you've already downloaded Unreal Engine or are somewhat familiar with it. If you're not, then you would need to go to unrealengine.com and download the engine. It's a bit of a process, and it's a rather large program. I would say the basic program is going to take anywhere from 50 gigabytes to up to 100 gigabytes or more of hard drive space. So be prepared for that. Make sure you have plenty of hard drive space available, and preferably an SSD drive. So when you go to download the engine, it will actually give you some options you can choose from, so you don't have to download everything. There's so much that Unreal Engine can do, it's almost crazy not to have some sort of connection to it. So once you do that, then you can come to the Lightwave website. The bridge is not available from any of these tabs. What you have to do is come to the search bar and just search for Unreal Engine. And if you search, you'll see it comes up right here and there's this little page type with the box and you just click on it and you can just download the bridge from here. And that'll come into your downloads folder. So once it comes into your downloads folder, if I go to downloads here, it'll come in as a zip file. So all you have to do is right click and extract it. And when you're done, you should have a folder that looks like this. It should say Lightwave Unreal Bridge, Windows 5.3.2. And you double click into it, and this is the folder that you want. So you just click this folder, right click, and then just copy that folder and its contents. Then what we have to do is we're going to go into Unreal Engine right here, and we're just going to go ahead and launch a new project. So you just click Launch. It just takes a minute to do this. Fun fact is that Unreal Engine has more than 2 million lines of code in it. <laughs> anyway, we click Games and we'll click Third Person Template. And I'm just going to call this Lightwave Project. And we'll go Create. And again, that just takes a minute to do. One of the things that I like to do is I like to have the content browser available to me. So what we do here is we just go to Window, Load Layout, Default Layout, and then go Content Drawer. You click that and go Dock and Layout. And then this puts you in a nice position here. So this is my default setup usually, just like this. Okay, so once this is set up, we have a project now called Lightweight Project. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into our folder here and we just have to search for where we store our Unreal project folders. So that file destination or that location should have been specified when you downloaded the engine. But it usually it, by default it's in documents. So if we come in here it's going to be documents, Unreal projects. And you'll see there's my Lightwave project right there. And if we double click into it you'll see we're at this level here. There isn't, unfortunately, a plugins folder by default, so we have to create one. So we're going to go right click and go to new folder here, and we're just going to type in P L U G I N S, and we have our plugins folder. And if we double click into this, then we can paste in our Lightwave bridge. And that's all we have to do. Once we set it up, the bridge will always be set up for this project. If we're going to do a new project, then we'd have to do this procedure again about creating a plugins folder and pasting the bridge in. And that's not unusual. That's standard operating procedure. So even if you had a program like Character Creator or iClone, you'd have to be doing that same process every for every new project. So anyway, all we have to do now is just do a restart. So I'm just going to exit out of this program. And one way to restart is just to go back into my Unreal Projects folder here and go to Lightwave Project and we double click here and it's going to restart the engine. You'll notice when we come into Plugins and I search for Lightwave, you'll see that the bridge is already enabled and ready to go. So that's fantastic. So we're all good on the Unreal Engine side of things. So now all I need to do is go into Lightwave 
And then all I need to do is come up here to the in out interface here tab. And if I go open Unreal Engine Bridge, this should pop up. And if I go connect, you'll see everything lights up. And this means that the bridge is working and set up. So this gets us through the installation now. And so the next step would be looking at transferring some assets. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.